Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you count God as faithful? What does it mean to count God as faithful? Do you reckon Him faithful? What does it mean to reckon Him faithful? If you count God as faithful, you're saying that He keeps His word, that He will be there for you based on what He has said, that despite what you see, what you hear, God will come true for you. You know, that's what Sarah did. She counted God faithful to keep his word concerning the promise he had made about her having a child in her old age. Do you count God as faithful? Or you verbally agree that he's faithful, but physically in implementation, in your deeds, you deny his faithfulness. You think that you get things done in the kingdom based on what you do and not based on what he says. Do you know that the kingdom is all about believing God and acting as if what he has said is so? Outside of that, that's not faith. You see, the relationship between faith and faithful. You have faith in the one who is faithful. So if you don't count him faithful, you don't have faith. Capiche? If you have faith in what he says, you will count him faithful to keep his word. That is, he is well able and he is so honorable that he cannot but keep his word. You see, he says he watches over his word to perform it. He hastens his word to bring it to pass. That's what the faithful one does. If you have a faithful servant, it means that that servant can be depended upon. Is at, at no point in time will you ask that servant to do something and he will give you excuses. If you count, if you if you count God faithful, you know he's de- he can be depended upon. No time, no situation, no circumstance is too out of reach and out of touch for him that he would leave you hanging or he will disappoint you. People might say all kinds of things concerning you, but if you're counting God faithful, at the end of the day before the sun goes down on that situation he will come true for you put your trust in him you know if you count him faithful he's actually saying that you trust him you trust him you trust him to do what to keep his word it's all about his word you know to keep his word what has he said but either what he has said to you in your heart or what he has said in the word If you count him faithful to keep what he has said in the word, you will not be moved by what you see. You won't be moved by what you hear. Yes, it's difficult not to be moved by what you see. But the trick there, no, I won't call it a trick. The the principle, the, 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 the basis there is that you direct all your attention to what he has said in such a way that you can overhear and ignore the things going on around you. It's not very, it's not easy. But the same way Jesus urged Jairus to stop the fear, but keep believing after he had overheard and ignored what those servants came to them. They came to tell him the the truth as we know it, facts. But he ignored that and settled with what they were believing for. God bless you. Hallelujah.